Got to install this today. New Tesla wall charger. That's a problem. All right, today we're putting this Tesla charger in and the panel on the house is right here. So I'm gonna pop out of the house here and we're gonna make our way underground using this one inch conduit. We're gonna bury this and the plan is to get the charger down at the end here. What did we say? Like right here? Yeah, like by the sprinkler. So about here. So I've got an eight foot post. This will be right around this region with the conduit going to it. And uh, we're gonna pull some wire. So we've got a lot of work to do today. Let's get started. We're rolling this hot up so we can roll it back when we're done. All right, so we got the conduit pulled all the way from the pole. Uh, excuse me, we got the wire pulled through the conduit all the way from the post down to this corner. I got my pull box there. And uh, step back here, bud. We do a, we have a 90 going towards the house. 
And we'll bury this under the mulch a little bit. When we get to the house, we've got another uh, 90, and we'll come up to uh, an LB box and make our way into the house. All right, so I got the wire pulled all the way to this point where I got my LB box drilled through the house. See, there's my hole there. Yeah, so I'll come in, make my way over to the panel. Just to recap, we've got one inch conduit. Probably gonna stay just above ground here. I'll just cover that with with mulch. Come down here. We we'll get into our trench. All the way down here. I've got, already got the wire pulled, obviously. Down to our post. Wire coming out, and I'll go uh, one inch conduit up the post, maybe about four feet to the wall charger, and then I'll lop off the. Uh, rest the excess there and make a nice post cap or something so all right back to work Like we were never here. Should I stop? So the wire's pulled. We've got our box mounted. Just a quick tip. Do not use the cheap Chinese made mounting screws that come with this uh, charger because it's a weird hex screw. It's soft stainless steel and the bit is terrible that they give you. I stripped it out immediately. I just used some uh, exterior grade construction screws to hold it in. So all there's left to do is uh, make these connections here and at the panel. We'll put it all together and uh, test it out. So to make these connections, we're gonna make the red and black are gonna be the hot and the white will be my ground. So let's start with the ground wire. Strip about a half inch.
18 foot charging cable really just uh, snaps in it's a couple of screws that go on the bottom that's it to hold it in Now the charging cable, I think, just wraps around this, right, Jay? Yeah, you could uh, you could wrap around it, uh, but make sure you go in the direction where you could be able to plug it into here. Okay. How long till mom puts a knot in this cable, like all our other cell phone charging cables? <laughs> <laughs> and this goes in the side? Yeah. Like that? Boom. Okay, so see I got wired in. Got my wires coming in here. It's going to my 60 amp breaker. My uh my two hots and my ground is going into there so yeah well let's uh let's turn this thing on and see how it works all right i'm gonna turn it on now okay let's check it out had some cool little light sequence cool so this will take a second to boot up then you connect to it from your uh, phone it'll show up as a an available Wi-Fi network on your phone you could connect to it and then configure your your home Wi-Fi for it and the Apple and then it'll tell you uh, whether or not it sees the full 60 amps and whatnot but uh, let's go ahead and see what happens when we plug this into the Tesla. So how does this work, Jay? You come down so, here, the charge port's over here, right? Yeah, on the driver's side, the swipe button, you press it, and it, it might, button. you it, that white button right there, you oh, press okay. it, gotcha. turn on. When yeah. it's white, that means you can plug it in. It automatically pops open like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. And then charging? it turns blue. And uh, once the charge, it uh, once it starts charging, it'll turn green. This says blue. Does this mean? That means wait. Oh, it started charging. Up really? There. Oh, it's because we still have the, the the departure time. That means the blue on there means it's done charging so oh it's all fully charged it, it, yeah it says it's it so you could set a departure time where it'll it'll stop charging at that time so once it says blue on there that means it stops charging or it's fully charged and this will stop being green but if it is charging it will turn green and it, so if you if it's done charging you click it once it turns white, take it out, click the white button, and uh, this will close like that. Okay. So is it 100% charged then? Is that where you're... No, it, it's not 100% charged. It, it just... We, we set a time for it to stop charging. So you could uh, set departure times for it to stop charging if you wanted to. Okay. So like if you... That way you can leave it plugged in and yeah, it wouldn't charge. Yeah. Okay. And then when you uh, wrap this, you want to wrap it in uh, towards this direction because uh, you're going to be doing, when you get done with this, you want to be able to be able to, to plug, plug it, in. it in right here. So you, so to plug it in, you put it in straight and then you lean it down. And it hooks in? Yeah. Cool. 
I like it. You want to do a little zero to 60 on there? <laughs> well, maybe a little later. Well, that was a cool project, right? And as you can see, it's been a couple days since we dug the trench and everything. You could barely tell we were here. And it looks pretty good on this side too. And that's it. So we got the old vehicles and then we got the futuristic vehicle. All right, well, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, we'll see you all next time.